Hey everybody, Alley Entertainment, and this week's movie review is on The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. So this movie is based on The Hunger Games Trilogy, uh, the novel from Suzanne Collins, and it's actually a three-part book, but they decided to do The Mockingjay in a Part 1 and Part 2. So as the War of Pan Am escalates, the destruction of other districts by the capital, Katniss Everdeen, the reluctant leader of the rebellion, must bring together an army against President Snow, while all she holds dear hangs in the balance. So some of the actors and actresses that you have in here, you have Jennifer Lawrence, Joss Hutchinson, Liam Hemsworth, Woody Harrelson, Donald Sutherland, Film Philip Seymour Hoffman. Um, unfortunately, we lost him at the beginning of this year. Um, he passed away. So he was able to get most of the filming for this movie done. However, I think they had to take a few, um, I guess, pieces from other films to kind of put it in together. And then we also have a Julianne Moore and Elizabeth Banks. Like, it goes, it goes on, the list goes on and on and on and on, but they got like an all-star cast here. I'm not one to usually just do a movie review on a movie that's a trilogy that I haven't done reviews on the previous one, but because this is such a big film, I'm like, you know what, I gotta do it. I absolutely gotta do it. You know, I'm quite surprised just because a lot of um, movies... The last movie in a trilogy is usually one of the worst, but I actually enjoyed it. Um, so, Mockingjay Part 1, I wasn't totally in love with, um, but when I saw this movie, you know, I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. So, looking at some of the user reviews, a lot of people are giving it a 7 out of 10. Of course, you have a few people that absolutely hate the movie, and you got a few people that absolutely love the last installment, and you know what, again, I gotta say, I, I enjoyed it, I liked the fact that it literally, as soon as Mockingjay Part 1 finished, when they showed Mockingjay Part 2, it actually, like, literally started off right where it left off, sometimes with, um, trilogies, they kind of miss a part, but it was just, honestly, you can put the two movies together, and it's like you're watching a six, a four to six hour movie which I absolutely enjoyed but I gotta tell you for some odd reason PETA looked younger in this movie um so he was one of my favorite characters I loved kind of seeing the love story between him and Katniss in the first two Hunger Games and if you guys have seen it he he's brainwashed and he doesn't know if he likes Katniss anymore it just I I I just saw no chemistry whatsoever honestly Peta just seemed so dull in the movie I mean I I don't know I think after watching that last movie I was just like really Peta was my favorite and now I don't think he's really my favorite anymore I'd, I I don't know if it was how they wanted him to act or whatnot but I definitely <laughs> did not see any chem chemistry um, in this film uh, compared to the last ones. I liked that Katniss Everdeen actually kind of did something in this movie. The first Mockingjay, she just kind of like sat behind and was just kind of a symbol of peace. And they kind of wanted her to do the same thing, to not get hurt. But she actually got in there and, and um, did some of uh, the the war stuff, which was... Uh, pretty cool and she's she's still badass with that bow and arrow i hope this is not a spoiler for you guys but i must say i absolutely like the end do you ever watch a movie and you wonder what the characters kind of did after the movie was over well this is the type of movie that it kind of gave you a look years after the hunger games finished which I absolutely loved because now I don't have to wonder who she picked or what happened. I I know and it it's awesome. You guys I have to warn you there's there is absolutely a little bit of a scary part 
in this movie. So if you see him kind of underground, cover your eyes, especially if there's little kids around. I'm not going to blab on and on, you guys, about the movie, other than the fact that you have to go see it. Um, yeah, other than that, I don't really want to see anything else, because I don't want to spoil it, and I actually enjoyed it. This will be one of the movies that I will absolutely watch again. So, I hope you guys... You know what? I, you know what? I didn't even put my little five finger. I was going to sign off there but okay out of my five fingers i would give it a four i actually really really enjoyed this movie and i would watch it again over and over again in which you guys i just repeated myself over and over again i already told you i was gonna watch it again and i said it again anyway i am gonna shut up now because i am just rambling on you guys so i hope you liked my review don't forget to like and subscribe down below you guys have yourself a great night.